Hey guys, it's me, Bitter Steel, back with another video for Hearts of Iron 4. Now, today I have a quick short one for you, nice and easy, just the way I like him. We'll be playing Australia. Now, Australia has uh, a few interesting achievements associated with it, and today we'll be trying Australia Hungary. As Australia, we have to own all core territory of Hungary. Now, that sounds fairly straightforward, however, Hungary has the nasty habit of creating a bit of extra cores for itself, so speed will be of the essence here. I will not be turning off any DLC, I will be playing this with all the DLC enabled. Everyone telling me to turn off the DLC is a weakling, it can be done and I'll show you. So play Australia, select our country, Iron Man mode on and leave those historical focuses on for nice predictable gameplay. We wouldn't want Hungary to start doing crazy things now would we? And with that done, hop in. But first, if you like these videos, leave a like, consider subscribing for more of this content and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Also, feel free to check out my Twitter, I uh, post some funny memes there and updates on the channel, as well as uh, check out our Discord, we've set up a nice little community, I'll leave links to both Twitter and Discord down in the video description below. Now, on to the video! There we go, Mighty Australia! First things first, we will be deleting the army. We have no use for these men. Construction military factories in your highest infrastructure provinces, as usual. If you're looking to continue this game, I recommend following up with a bit of infrastructure, wherever you can get some more resources out of it. Resources are always good. And Australia has to transport everything by convoys, which is tedious. Research, very important. Straight for paratroopers and the second slot does not really matter. Military factories. We will put two on infantry equipment. We need some guns. We will put one on interwar fighters and a second one on transport planes. This is what we'll be producing for now. Anything extra can go into military equipment and uh, make some convoys as well. Everything has to be imported after all. And then finally, focuses. We will start off with never another Gallipoli. Start turning away from the UK. And with that done, let's set the speed to max and get things rolling. Later. And with never another Gallipoli done, let's move on and abandon the Westminster system. We're completely turning away from the UK. We must go our own path. And again, research for this achievement, not super important. But if you want to continue this game further, might want to look ahead. I like to make fighters early. There we go. We have abandoned the Westminster system. Here we come into a bit of a pickle. I would like to take this man on, Fergus here, the brown demagogue, if you will. But we can't. We first need to complete support the center party. And as you can see, support the center party requires an autonomy progress over 55%. We're slowly going to get there. We will have a ticking modifier towards it. But before we can take the focus, we'll have some time to pass. While we wait, we can start doing these industrial focuses here. Standard Gauge Railway and Industries Assistance Corporation. I would like to spend a bit of political power, but I will be hoarding all of it for now. We will need some of it uh, to solve some problems later on. Now ah, we have our paratroopers. Good. That is pretty much all the research you will need for this achievement. Again, you want to continue this run, pick whatever you think your country needs. Industry is always a winner. Now it's the first of these industrial focuses done. Unfortunately, we're not quite there yet, so we'll take a second one as well. And that concludes our second industrial focus. Let's have a look here. As you can see, we need 10 more points to have 55% progression towards freedom. And we can save up 10 days in this focus tree here. Let's do that. 12 seconds later. Let's see, we're now at 550 out of 1000. By my quick calculations, that is 55%. Let's take a look at the focus tree. Ah, we can't take it yet because we have to be over 55%. So just let one day take by. We'll waste one day on the focuses doesn't seem like a very bad deal. And voila, we can now support the center party. Excellent! With the center party supported, we can now hire the brown demagogue, Mr. Fergus Foster Munro. Let's do that. So for the focus trees, let's uh, supply the Indian nationalists. Seems like a good deal. Doesn't really matter. Now for our decisions. We could open up political discourse and take the slow and steady approach. However, I'm not really a fan of slow and steady. Instead, let's prepare for some civil conflict here. And to do that, we'll be clicking expand civil support until we're below 50% stability. Let's keep spamming that button. 20 minutes later. We've clicked it twice already, bringing us to 50%, so the third time's the charm. And we are ready to ignite our civil conflict here. Let's just 
press this button. Et voila! Due to our expanded support, we control most of the country. Now let's start working on those troops. As the train paratroopers, as many as the game will allow, on a high priority, and we'll be forcing these out the door the moment they're ready. We'll deploy a few near Australia's capital of Melbourne, and then the rest can be deployed here near Perth. While we wait for these troops to be available, let us make use of this political power to prepare our uh, business with Hungary. Let's start justifying on them. Any province will do. And we can deploy them. Just select the province where you want to deploy them, and you deploy like one, two, three, four of them. They will be heading for Melbourne, and we can manually deploy the rest. Let's see, somewhere near Perth. It's perfect. Just assign them all to a general. I let about a few hours tick by so they get some organization and can move. And just send them into the victory points. Et voila! Centralist Australia has annexed regular Australia. Isn't that lovely? I do wonder why it's centralist. It's not really in the center of the map, is it? Now for the next phase of the plan. Let's have a chat with Germany. See if they'll take us on. Excellent! They're willing to be friends. All right, now let's send our boys to Europe. We can't really do much here. We need Germany to gobble up Austria first, but when they do, we'll be ready to take Hungary by storm. Speaking of Hungary, let's see how many cores they've managed to fabricate. Uh, they have a claim on Southern Slovakia. That's not a problem. And no cores on Transylvania, no cores on Krisana or Banat, and no cores on Yugoslav territory either. That's good. That's very good. Now, as for future focuses, doesn't matter for the achievement. As far as Australia-Hungary is concerned, we're done here. If you want to turn this into a run to continue, pick anything you want, really. You can go many different directions. Personally, I like beefing up my industry first. Now, is it just me, or does this man's mustache seem a little off-center? Excellent, our justification is done. However, Germany hasn't gobbled up Austria just yet. But we can still wait until January. So... Let's see. Let's see what Germany does next. And like clockwork, Germany is working on the Anschluss next. That should give us enough time to set up on the airport in Vienna, or near Vienna. Can't remember exactly where it is. And be ready to deploy our troops. Now, if timing is a little bit too tight for your liking, you can always declare and just para drop afterwards. All right, here we go. It's January 15th. Tomorrow, our war goal expires. Unfortunately, however, Germany isn't quite ready to finish their Anschluss just yet. There's two ways about this. Either in the initial setup in your game, you wait a little longer, give or take a month, to start your justification. Or, and this is a, a lot less headache, you can simply declare on Hungary now. And then move in with your paratroopers whenever Germany finishes Anschluss. Just don't call Germany into the conflict. You don't need them. You don't want them. We want all that territory. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to declare on Hungary now. Now while we sit here waiting for Germany, let's have a look. No Hungarian cores here. No, none here. None here either. Nothing in Banat. Kresana is clear. Nothing in Transylvania. And just two claims in Southern Slovakia and one in Carpathian Ruthenia. Still looking great. What focus are they doing? The Gior program, that doesn't give them any cores either, so we're right on track for speed. Ah, lovely. Germany has finished Anschluss. Let's move our troops to that fresh new airport here, and let's put our airplanes in it as well. Just put everyone out there, all your fighters and your transport planes. Very well. Now, as you can see, Hungary is mustering quite heavily on the German border here. They see Germany as a bit of a threat to them, since they're in the same faction as us, and we are in a bit of a conflict with Hungary now. So they want to play it safe and man that border with everything they have, leaving nothing to garrison Budapest, Pex, or Debrecen. And it's good for us, because we're going to exploit that heavily. So we're going to take these paratroopers and spread them out over the three victory points that Hungary has. So a few boys go to Pex, a few go to Budapest, and a few go to Dretchen. And the instant these boys are ready to take off, that's it for Hungary. Let's see. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. The Kingdom of Hungary has capitulated. Excellent. A lot of stuff as well. Now all we have to do is take all of their states. And done. There we go. We now own all Hungarian core territory. Let's have another check. There's nothing in southern Slovakia but a claim. Same in Carpathian Ruthenia. They have no cores in northern Transylvania. No cores in Transylvania. No cores in Krizana. Nothing in Banat. And nothing in the Yugoslav territories either. So there you have it. Australia Hungary completed all DLC active on version 1.9.3. This isn't difficult, this isn't even tedious, this is just a good bit of picking on the AI. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel to see more of these videos. Leave a like and hit me up in the comments with more achievements you want to see me do or some interesting challenges to make a video of. I'm always looking for some ideas. If you didn't like it, hit me up in the comments, tell me what I did wrong. I'm always looking to learn, nobody's perfect. This has been me, Peter Steele. Have a good one. Goodbye.